What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet moveset guide video. So the other day I was checking my comments section to see what Pokemon I had to do today, the Pokemon that you guys requested, what would it be, and for some reason Paldean Tauros, all three forms got a lot of likes, which was just weird. I feel like Paldean Tauros is one of those Pokemon where like I see it and I have no feelings whatsoever, it just kind of exists. That being said, it is a really interesting Pokemon, and there are three forms, so I'll be giving you a moveset for each form in VGC. Uh, but yeah, before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content, and of course, comment down below the next Pokemon you want me to cover, and let's go ahead and get into it. So, there are three forms of Paldean Tauros, and... One is like notably better than the rest, and it's the fire form. I'm going to spoil that right now. Uh, but they all have the exact same stats, which is really interesting. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, and jump right into it. Uh, all three Paldean Tauros are fighting types, uh, and I'm going to show you the base form on screen. They all have the same abilities. Uh, the only thing is one is water and one is fire, and yeah and, and then one's just like pure fighting so keep that in, uh keep that in mind uh it has three abilities it's intimidate anger point and kudchu i actually couldn't think of a kudchu set i don't think kudchu is actually that great um but the intimidate ability is going to be like the only one that we use today uh but yeah uh, it's got some pretty decent stats. They redistributed Tauros' stats to make it a little bit bulkier on the physical side at the expense of 10 speed. So we have 75 HP, 110 attack, 105 defense, 30 special attack, 70 special defense, and 100 speed. Honestly, I would have preferred losing that bulk in exchange for that 110 speed because outspeeding Garchomp would have been huge. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we have to make do with what we got. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into the first moveset. Uh, the first moveset that I have is for the original Paldean Tauros, uh, pure fighting type. I'm actually just going to be running a choice band set. I don't think that there's much you could do with this Pokemon to make it great. I think you're better off running the fire or water type, to be honest, uh, because you really prefer having more stabs than just close combat. Uh, but it does have the exclusive move in Raging Bull, which will be either fighting, fire, or water type, depending on your form. Uh, and it's basically a 90 base power brick break, which is really cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's not that strong. 90 base power isn't cutting it on a choice band set. So we're going to go ahead and run Jolly Max Speed Max Attack 4 HP with Close Combat, Drill Run, Wild Charge, and Rock Slide. Uh, of course, Close Combat is just your main form of stab. You'll be wall breaking a lot of things. Uh, yeah, nothing really switches into Close Combat off of 110 base attack with the Choice Band. Of course, you are Intimidate Food, which kind of sucks. However, you are Choice Banded and have access to Drill Run. So if the Arcanine is even a little bit chipped, uh, it will be taking a lot of damage from Drill Run and possibly getting KO'd due to that high critical hit ratio. Wild Charge is there to catch uh, odd water types, like if you manage to run into a rain team, uh, being able to one-shot Pelipper is pretty useful. Uh, other notable Pokemon, I guess, Iron Bundle is going to be something that you can one-shot with this thing. Uh, it's decent damage into Don Dozo, and uh, yeah, it's, it's just like a good move to have. I don't know. The main thing that I've actually built the rest of the Taurus around is uh, beating Dragonite and uh, Chen Pao, which is actually a combo I'll explain in a second here. Honestly, this first Tauros is just so average, like I want to move past it. All right, this is the good move set. This is the Fire Paldean Tauros. We're running Citrus Berry, Intimidate, Raging Bull, Will-O-Wisp, which is the main thing that makes it good compared to the rest, Close Combat, and Protect. We have 204 HP, 4 Attack, 44 Defense, 4 Special Defense, and Max Speed with a Jolly Nature. So what this spread specifically allows us to do is take on Dragonite plus Chen Pao. So this combo is a, a hyper offense combo that's been running around the ladder a lot la uh, lately. And what it does is it takes advantage of Sword of Ruin, which is Chen Pao's ability, which will lower everyone's defense stat on the field by 25%, which is just really strong, especially when you're facing off versus a normal type Dragonite uh, that is going for choice banded extreme speeds. Like, you're not outspeeding it, it is the fastest extreme speed that we have, uh, and it is going to KO a lot of Pokemon. Uh, and also, it has the ability Inner Focus, so you can't flinch it, and you can't intimidate it. So, why do we have Intimidate? That's for the Qian Pao. Uh, but what we have for the uh, for the Dragonite is actually Will-O-Wisp. So, what this set allows us to do is we'll take 98% maximum from that uh, Banded Extreme Speed from Terra Normal Dragonite. Uh, after the Sword of Ruin defense drop, I calculated this, uh, and then you have to connect a Will-O-Wisp, and then you get your Citrus Berry, and you're like, good. The Dragonite is basically shut down for the rest of the game. It's not going to be doing as much damage as it needs to be, because 80 base power isn't that strong of a move. So yeah, 
Excuse me, I'm a little bit congested today. I feel like I have the curse where like I'm fine all day and then as soon as I sit down to record, I get congested. So, you know, bear with me here. Uh, but our other moves are Fire type Raging Bull, which will be good for beating Grim Snarl as it's gonna deal a lot of damage uh, with that stab fire, as well as breaking all those screens. And a close combat is, is of course your best stab. Uh, Raging Bull is also decent damage into Chen Pao. And the only reason we're not really running Will-O-Wisp is because of the utility that Raging Bull gives you. Uh, plus, we don't want to take recoil that much with this uh, Toro set because we're specifically trying to beat that combo, which is super, super annoying on the ladder right now. And Protect is just our last move. However, you could swap that out for something like uh, uh, Rock Tomb if you want some speed control, which is honestly very nice. In fact, the next moveset takes advantage of that. This is a water type Paldean Tauros. It's the exact same EV spread because if the Chen Pao doesn't double into you, you still take the hit. Uh, however, I did find that uh, Paldean Tauros Water in non-Chen Pao plus Dragonite matchups wants to click uh, Chilling Water because it's a very nice move. Uh, so this moveset is actually going to be uh, either Close Combat or Raging Bull. Uh, or sorry, not either Close Combat or Raging Bull. I don't know why I said that. Uh, it's going to be Close Combat and Raging Bull Water. So Close Combat is going to be a fighting type move. It's your main stab, of course. Raging Bull Water is your main water type stab. It's 90 base power, making it stronger than Liquidation by 5 uh, points. And of course, that's going to break through screens, uh, as always. Uh, Rock Tomb is going to be your form of speed control. And our final move is Chilling Water, which is a brand new move in Gen 9. And even though it's a special attack, it's going to be pretty useful on Tauros. Uh, because even though you're like an Intimidate Pokemon, you want to switch in, switch out. Uh, Chilling Water is 100% accurate, it deals damage, and it will always lower the opponent's attack stat by 1. So in a situation where your Tauros can't like KO a Pokemon, but you need to save a Pokemon next to you to KO that thing, uh, it's pretty useful. Uh, I would say uh, an example of this would be, imagine you have a low health fairy type Pokemon like Azumarill next to you, hypothetically. And the only way that you're going to win a match is if your Azumarill can survive this next hit and smack a Garchomp with a uh, with a um, play rough. So your Azumarill's at like 30% health and the Garchomp's already at minus one from Intimidate. Well here, you go for the Chilling Water and a Protect with your Azumarill, and then the Chilling Water will lower that Garchomp's attack step by one, and then the next turn your Azumarill will live and hit it with a play rough, and that's how you win. Uh, this move is just very spammable. I feel like it's going to be pretty decent on Tauros, to be honest, even though it's like not a special attacker. Uh, it's a support move that's actually really nice. It's sort of like a physical snarl, even though it only hits one Pokemon. But yeah. Uh, those are my movesets. I don't find Tauros all that interesting except for the fire type one, but I wanted to give you a moveset for each one. Uh, I'm going to go to bed soon. I am very tired. I'm recording this right after I stream and I have to go to work at 7.30. So thank you all for watching. I really appreciate uh, all the support of the channel lately. Uh, let's see if we have two videos today. It might just be this one, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Taurus in the comment section down below. Leave a like and, of course, comment down below the Pokemon you want me to take a look at next. And have a nice night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.